because I am so bloody old. But again, 1993, we started to coordinate this kind of solution and that was acquired by a company called Lucent. Well, as you can see from the name under there, Alcatel Lucent, and we were in this company afterwards. It was long time the first market solution, market leader doing research, enterprise solutions, carrier solutions, and Lucent was promoting more inside the vital for this. 2005, first to market to do IPv6 iPad. Yes, we did it. We came to IPv6 forum member. We did networking portfolio to support IPv6, and it was working fine. And I can tell you that we were the first one to provide IPv6 IPAM management in a real life. When IPv6 started to evolve, it was evolving over time, and when, uh, finally at 2012, we got the second generation of IPv6 IP address management solution. That means that now we can provide you dual stacks. In the first release, honestly, it was either or. You had to choose what you were doing and make it think in the first, uh, two different systems. But 2012, we started to do this kind of dual stacking solutions. Now 2014, we have a really good IPv4 DHCPv6 failover solution. It's meaning that now we have a multi-threaded carrier grade, really nice solution, what has been used by many major carriers in the whole world. What is this wide IP? It's pretty simple. It can provide you with CP, but you can actually pass your DHCP configuration, servers, and just check that they are valid. Also for DNS servers, you can check that your client servers, they are up and running, we can manage, we can discuss, because we can support all client versions, what is available, and as far as I remember, it's client version 9, but I can't remember, 9.4, I think it was the latest, we can support that one, IS solutions, yes, we can go for those ones, we can support them, Microsoft, so we have multiple solutions, where we can actually support and make a contribution to the servers, we can information, get statistics, and by this way you have a really nice wider IP solution in the middle where you can see all these other spaces, usage, devices, users, locations, where, by the way, our DNS and DHCP and DNS rules was zero. What you pay for is IP address management, nothing else. We give for free DNS and DHCP management. And uh, when you install it, remember, we are not limiting hardware. You can take all the benefit out of your hardware what you are installing this system to. Or you can use, of course, our really performant appliances. By the way, we are using Dell appliances, and we have just so it's called limited hardware support included to our pricing. Actually, you have to buy it separately if you want. But again, we can just give it really freely. So if that's an option for you, but again, I mean, many of you have it, but again, we can provide you this kind of hardware support even that they are coming and replacing the device if it's getting broken, and that's part of our appliances. Also, we have to remember that we've been doing what kind of performance testing for IVATEC UIP, and nearly all the time, we are just getting as a winner, and really well winner. Reason being that what the other vendors are doing, when we are thinking about leases, leases per second for DHCP, they are actually just limiting this hardware. They have a really low limits in the home appliances, and if they don't have it, they are saying that you must have this kind of server, this kind of operating system, this version, and it's not totally open. On the other hand, uh, this lease auditing, remember, it's really important. Think about DNS 6.4 it really requires this auditing as well. So it has to be available. Reporting features, absolutely. Think about RIPE is pushing you over time, and as server. So it's meaning that if you have these ISC bind pen solutions, yes, please use them. We don't just restrict you. We are providing you a really nice IP address management, IP address management tool. You can use them, we can connect to those ones because we are backward compatible from version 9, backwards all the way down there, where it's needed. 
given this uh, security vulnerable version 8 of the client. Mind Microsoft DNS servers and naturally security features are recognized. DNSSEC, DNS use, DNS64 is supported naturally because we want to make dual stacks. And not but the least, remember Enum. Enum is coming and we have a support for that one and actually there is a project already going on for that one, just to let you know. DHCP. There is, a, of course, Microsoft DHCP support, and naturally we have a failover features, meaning that we know all the active leases in your network. Should it happen that some servers are going down, naturally we have a heartbeat going between servers and we know the status and we can easily replace and do this file replication for those ones. Fast, nice, good solution. IPAM. Like I've been telling already during this presentation many times, right business demanding these reports. Yes, we can do it. And by this way, we can have this network subnet object, object management also, meaning that we can tie it and make both addresses per device. So remember, dual stacking is important. Cloud based. It's a multi tenant solution. You are building these cloud solutions everywhere. Everybody's building cloud solutions today. Of course you want to provide something from cloud. You want to provide IP address management from multiple locations. And also have databases also are synchronizing each other. So by this basic cloud based solution is important and have really scalable solution and single clear architecture. And also remember this unrestricted virtualized services because we don't have really restrictions for CPU, disk and memory. Also we are just approaching now SDN. Well, my colleague Sami will talk to the more about today about SDN and he will can go and just tell more how we can handle that one. But again, for example, the Nuash is part of our platform, what we are talking about today. And this new IP address management, what is we have is also part of the SDN solution, remember. And last but not the least, open API. You must be able to use your IP address management, but you don't need to do everything from scratch. It has to talk with systems to each other, and that's exactly a must. This API tool set, having XML, SOAP interfaces, APIs, what you can actually just program, it's absolutely a must. By this way, remember, to get a good control speed, you must have a good solution where you can manage your IP space, thinking that there's a DHCP, enum, DNS, and plan everything and push these configurations to a remote DHCP, DNS servers easily. Also get reporting out of them. And also, what a QIP can ensure but your configuration is correct in your remote servers. If they are not correct, you know what is the situation. It's sort of tricky. And this situation has been seen in this country too many times. Also having a delegation, that you must have a different kind of profiles for users. You must have admin profiles. You can have just uh, only just system administration profiles, whatever you want to mention it. But again, the profiles where you can see what is a configuration, but you don't change it. Yes, that's important in a system. Also thinking about security part. If you haven't implemented DNSSEC in your DNS solution so far, please think about it and seriously think about it. Also with uh, GSS, TSIC, is also just for cache portioning, DNS cache portioning. And that's another solution, but again, some sort of security mechanism must be available in DNS. Scalability is important. Depending what kind of solution you have, you must be able to do this kind of carrier class as scalability, because otherwise you're gonna be in a deep shit at the end. And evolution, like I mentioned, we've been starting from IPv4, going IPv6, all the way to SDN, thinking cloud-based solutions, everything. So that's exactly the evolution what you must have in a software vendor who is providing this kind of critical services. 
I don't want to mention what our company names who are providing alternative solutions. But again, do they think about something like this for long term? You can discuss with them. But again, that's what I have pretty much to say about Vitec UIP. But uh, here you can see, this is Mr. Timo Mannonen. Timo, can you raise your hand? That's fair. That's him behind there. Should you know more about this one, please contact me or Timo. We are here the whole day, and we are happy to tell you more about this one. NetNudic is actually selling our solution from Finland, and uh, they are selling all this wider QIP sales and also support, where you can get installation support if you need, and they have really good technical guys who's been trained to install and maintain these solutions. Coming to the pricing, Yes, contact Timo, because he can give you estimated pricing for that one, and by this way, you can get started. And last one is questions. Should you have any questions? No, I don't think so. For asking questions, there's this one mic here where if there are a lot of questions, you can queue up to ask your question. But I can, of course, if you are somewhere behind everyone, then I can try to run to you with the microphone. But Looks like there's no questions, and by this way I will say thanks for by Net Nordic and Alcatel Lucent, so I will say thank you, and have a nice seminar. Yes, and thank you.